Alright. Welcome to part three and the final video of the No Mercy campaign. Now, let's finish it off. My mic cut off last episode, so I apologize, so that's why I had to add that extra clip. So yeah. I just got drag and drop and kill a smoker without it doing damage to its victim. Yeah. to add to I'm going to be the next campaign I do which is death toll I'm going to have subtitles that way everyone knows what's going on because I know some people don't know some auditory cues like I do so like I had so there's like stuff like tank like the tank noises and like in the subtitles they'll say tank growls and stuff so that way people will know like what's about to happen Plus, it'll help me survive too, but I kind of don't want to turn it on and I kind of do it at the same time. So, should I have subtitles? Um, it's you have to let me know. And I just locked myself out. GG. And then here we go, the final, final part. Oh, and here goes me testing out my vibration on my controller, because remember I had that problem yesterday, last time? Well, this is it. That's right, Lewis, it is it. Oh yeah, so I've also added on the top right um what campaign am I on and what part am I on. So I'm on No Mercy Part 3. It'll help you got it'll help you if you're like making a playlist, which I doubt you are. If you're making a playlist, this will help you um organize the playlist if you want to. Except I already have my own place playlist, so I don't know. Do whatever you want. I don't, care. I don't even care. Freaking not. Oh, and like I said yesterday, um, last time. Well, for me, it, it was yesterday because I uploaded it yesterday. But yesterday. Where I said by the end of this campaign, I was sharing my tact my tactics of how how I didn't how I how I um get good at the game and be pro. 
Honestly, it's just practice. Mostly practice. Depends how good you are, you are on first person shooters. So, yeah. There's also a secret to the special infected. And can you imagine? Okay. Apparently, there's a tank gonna interrupt my speech. Look at that retard. And how is he not dead yet? There he goes. Yeah, that smoker grabbed a hold of Zoe. Can you imagine what would happen if she actually got dragged down to the bottom? So, that was very lucky. Obviously, the tank. The tank told us what would happen if we dropped down and what happens if we killed the smoker. Bye bye, Zoe. That's what would have happened. So that was our saw being. You may have noticed that I'm using the assault rifle because it's my favorite gun in the whole game. Really good. You can get good headshots with it. And it, it doesn't take a lot of rounds to kill zombies or spectral infected. And it can kill tank pretty quick if everyone has an assault rifle. Or three assault rifles or one auto shotgun. No, we're not here. So yeah, you see those guns to my right? Those are all the good guns. That's what you want. But... I'm gonna call them the the advanced guns because they're really advanced, and you know at the beginning of the campaigns, there you get those guns like the pump shotgun and the SMG submachine gun. Yeah, that's what. All right, so we're going to get we're going to get saved by the helicopter from the beginning of the game, which is awesome because I want to get saved. Wow, that was just so tempting just to press the middle button because someone says send me a message, but I can't. Okay, the message right now. Alright, so I'm finding the best spot. The best spot to stay and defend, just like, just like I always do. I always like to defend during these parts. I don't want to go out and run a gun because, uh, do you know how many tanks spawn in this? Three, three tanks at most. But if you kill the tank at the very end, another one is going to spawn instantly. So basically, four tanks at most. And now I'm being spammed. That's great. This is why I always appear myself offline because of this, for these reasons. I should just permanently per uh, put myself offline because, yeah, I honestly don't want to be spammed. Uh, let me know in the comments if you love being spammed. Yep, of course. Oh, what was I thinking back then? A oh. whole. And here's the first tank. Alright, here's how strong the assault rifle is. Alright, 
there's a tank right there. See, he just got stuck in the window. That's why I like to stay in there and defend. Defend it in this this building where the radio is. It's also why I hardly go outside in in this in this um, level. All right, here's a hunter. Honestly, I found out the staircase are the best spot to defend against. Because all the bots, all of your your AI AI teammates follow you. They're also defend against. They'll defend the staircase. This is probably the safest spot on this game mode. The hunters have to crawl inside. Hunters have to crawl inside the, the doorway, either one of the two doorways, to get a good pounce and latch. And when a smoker grabs like that, you can easily be saved. Just like that. And then you can just run back. the hunter okay, here's another here's the second tank it means though the match is close to being is coming to an end soon and it's coming up top like that you don't the player does not want to be hit. You can't. The player cannot be hit because he'll die. And once you die, the game's automatically over. But if one of the bots die, it's not game over. You still have a chance. So that's why you have to book it and then come back and then fight. Because then you're prepared to fight. Like I'm not prepared for a tank to come on a roof and defend itself. All right. So here's a here's a quick tip. When the rescue arrives, always get a first aid kit because you really need to you need to book it once it says rescue has arrived, get aboard. Because when you have full health, you run faster. And look, that's how you get the no one left behind achievement. And a bunch of other achievements that I just unlocked in this. And no one left behind I obviously survive the campaign without losing anyone which we almost lost Zoe so that was kind of a problem do not disturb sneak complete the campaign without disturbing a witch mercy killer survive the no mercy campaign stand tall survive a campaign without being incapitated um, some may have noticed that um, I didn't go down once. And here's all my stats right there. So the trick is to surviving the special infected to, to uh, stand against them. When a hunter's about to pounce at you, always press the melee button because if he's about to pounce at you, you can bounce him back. But of course, you have to be facing him to do that. Smoker, you have to be hugging a wall, and you, and you have to be like some. You have to look for where the smoker is, hide behind the wall, stand cover from it, and like poke your head out and shoot it like in Call of Duty when you're poking out in cover. The boomer, shove them back and then shoot them. Simple as that. My favorite guns were the assault rifle and the double dual globe pistol because and the shotgun because they were the strongest don't get the hunting rifle unless you're really good with headshots and surviving against a horde well i hope you enjoyed the left 4 dead series i'm gonna be playing death toll soon 
very soon, like in a couple days or so. But be expecting that very, very soon. Thanks for watching the series. Bye bye. Alright, here's a quick update. When this comes out on Xbox One, I will be playing all these campaigns. So if you you can pause the video and read this text if you want. I definitely will be playing this. Halo 1, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 4. Be expecting that. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.